Hello and welcome, my name is David Sabat and in this video I'm going to run you through Dynamics 365 Teams integration. So Teams and Dynamics 365 seamlessly work together to leverage the data that you hold in the platform within a Teams channel or window um, and we're going to show you some of the cool features available out of the box. What is Teams integration? So Dynamics 365 Teams integration helps users become more productive. How is this done? By leveraging the power of Dynamics 365 and its data from directly within Teams, it helps users across the organization collaborate more efficiently. The areas that we're going to explore in today's video are as follows. So how Teams and Dynamics 365 work seamlessly together. We're going to look at pinning records um, or information from Dynamics 365 to channels within Teams. We're going to look at the conversation feature as well. So this is allowing users to collaborate via conversation posts. Using the Dynamics 365 app within Teams, which is basically just a window through to Dynamics 365. So you can pull through views, dashboards, any information or anything that you look at within Dynamics 365 um, can be viewed within Teams using the app. Um, and we're going to finalize things with a Teams mobile point of view. What I wanted to do is start off within Teams and just go over some really basic terminology and functionality that's in here, which will set the scene for some of the other areas that we're going to explore later. So we can join those dots up and hopefully everything that I'm referring to will, will make sense, whether you use Teams or not. On the left hand pane here, you've got some key areas which we're going to explore. You've got Teams, chats, things like activity. Also notice that I've got the Dynamics 365 icon there. That's because I've installed the app within Teams. To do that, once you've configured the backend settings and made sure that it, it can work with your Dynamics 365 instance, um, if we click on the ellipsis button, I can actually just search for the app really easily there. If I click on that, that will add the app to Teams and I can just point it at the right um, environment to, to get it working. If I click on this, Notice that it's just going to pop up with a window through to my Dynamics 365 environment. So that's literally just pulling through everything that you would see in there directly within Teams. That so means I don't actually have to navigate away. I can access all that information and navigate around the system within a window in Teams. Moving away from here, I just wanted to highlight the Teams area. Um, so this is where you would collaborate with users across your organization, whether that's on a project or a sale, anything that you need to collaborate with people, this is where you're going to do it within Teams. So again, some of the terminology I just want to highlight, these um, sub areas down here are classed as channels. Um, and then at the top here, uh, this is classed as a team. So you can have multiple teams uh, where you're collaborating with users. And then within those teams, you can have multiple channels. Um, and you can see here, here's just a, a high level kind of organization um, team. So this is for ANS. And then below here, I've got additional channels, which are specific to maybe opportunities or projects, or maybe even customers that, that you're pursuing and working on to share that information in there. So what we're going to do now is um, create a new channel within Teams and then pull through some information from Dynamics 365 into Teams from Teams. We're then going to do the reverse of that. So we're going to navigate to Dynamics 365 and then we're going to link a record directly from Dynamics 365 to Teams. It can be done both ways. It depends on, on you know, where you are in the application, whether you want to do it from Teams, you can and not have to move away from it. If you're a salesperson that may be consistently focusing on um, Dynamics 365 all the time, then they might want to do it directly from there. So you've got the option of using both methods. So if we click on ANS, the, the team that we've got at the high level, click add channel. Let's just call it test for now. And you can add some more information if you wanted to. Let's click on this plus icon in the tab at the top. If I click on Dynamics 365, I've already done a configuration behind the scenes to link the um, environment up to my team's environment. I can actually see some recent information that I've accessed within Dynamics 365. I can search that as well and start using filters to look for information in there. But let's just use um, an example of request for information. This is an opportunity. I can then actually start sharing it with team members directly in there if I had some additional ones configured. Let's hit save. 
once that whirls around, what that's going to do is create a new Teams channel on the left-hand side here, um, like so. Uh, in the tabs at the top, you can see Posts, Files, Wiki. You can also see Requests for Info. So that successfully linked that individual opportunity from Dynamics to Teams. And I can actually see all the information on there. I can actually click into the information and amend it if I wanted to. What I can also do is add additional tabs for records to link to this channel in Teams. So if I click on plus and go to Dynamics 365, I can actually associate it to any of the records. So, you know, accounts, contacts. In this scenario, we used opportunities. But if I click on view selection, I can actually drill into the views that manipulates the data from Dynamics 365. So if I click on account, it's going to show me the available views that I have in the system. And then I can pull that through to uh, teams as well. So let's just use um, active accounts, hit save. And what you'll notice is additional tab at the top, which will be a list view of those accounts that are associated to that view. What I wanted to also do is show you it from a dynamics perspective. So what we've looked at is linking records and views to a channel within teams from teams. But what you can also do is um, link that data directly from within Dynamics 365. So as I mentioned, if you're a salesperson and you kind of live and breathe in this application, you might just want to quickly create um, a new channel directly from here, which you can do by using the collaborate button at the top. So if you select this, um, you can associate it to channels. So you can see that this one I've already associated to a channel um, or you could create a new connection at the bottom and uh, it will automatically create those channels for you. Moving back into Teams now, on the left hand side you can see a new channel that I've created from Dynamics and the newly created uh, opportunity that has been linked to the channel. So we did that by using that collaboration button in Dynamics 365. What I can also do is collaborate with users across the organization by selecting this conversation tab. And this allows you to post updates or anything that's happening with this individual record in Teams. And what that's also going to do is show on this post section. So if I click on posts and scroll up, you can see there's the updates that, that I've just updated on the conversation section. If we scroll down, you can also see that I've configured an RSS feed from the company website. So that's going to update information that the, the, the company wished to share via this RSS feed directly in Teams, so we're not going to have to go and look at the website to find out what's happening. That information is going to automatically update within this record. So really, really nice and easy way to understand what's happening. We've explored pinning records and views to channels in Teams, uh, as we've seen in these sections. But what I also wanted to show you was the Dynamics 365 pinned app. So we can pin this to the navigation pane to basically just open up a window through to your Dynamics 365 environment and access all the information, views, dashboards, anything that you would in there, but directly in Teams. So you don't need to navigate away from the screen. You can access that information, also add new records, manipulate the data as you normally would, but within the Teams window. So I can see dashboards on screen. If I go down the navigation pane on the left-hand side here, I can start going into open opportunities or accounts and contacts if I wanted to. Just to finish off the demonstration, I wanted to show you Teams from a mobile perspective. So what you can see on screen is I've logged into Teams on my mobile device. You can see instead of the um, navigation pane being on the left-hand side, it's at the bottom. So you can currently see that we're in a team section. And this is the main team that we set up. If I click into that, you can see the channels which we created. So you can see the test channel as well as the worldwide importers channel that we created earlier. If I click in there again, we're in the post section. So you can see posts that are associated to this um, channel. And if I click on more and request for info, what that's going to do is open a new window, which will take me to that record in Dynamics 365. And that concludes the demonstration. I hope you found that beneficial. If you have any questions at all, then please feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to help. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.